Hello everybody, my name is Kieran from The Checkpoint and welcome back to RuneScape. Today I'm going to bring you another guide and we're going to be covering a really good way to train magic and crafting. Now just before I begin the guide, a quick shout out to uh, King NCB who recognised me and uh, messaged me saying that he liked his content, so shout out to you. And uh, anyway, let's get on with today's guide. <laughs> Okay, so the requirements for this are going to be 66 magic and 66 crafting. Now what we're going to be making are air battle staffs. Now these are one of the best ways to train both magic and crafting, and they will always make you a profit as well. So I'm going to list the items on screen that you're going to need. The first thing you're going to need is, uh, this is optional, you can either buy yourself a thousand molten glass, uh, because in today's guide we're going to be uh, making a thousand battle staffs, you can either uh, get yourself a thousand molten glass or a thousand bucket of sand and soda ash. Now why would we have buckets of sand and soda ash? Well the reason is, is if we go to this tab here, um, I've been making them myself so if we take a bucket of sand and some soda ash uh, to this furnace over here, I recommend Portfus Martis if you're going to be doing this, um, you can use, uh, use this on the furnace over here and you will make yourself the molten glass without having to buy it. But why would you do this? Well, there's two reasons why you'd make the Molten Glass yourself. The first one is that it gets you 20 X XP in crafting um, per Molten Glass. That's pretty cool. And the second reason is that it's a bit cheaper. Molten Glass can be about 210, 220 GP each around there. But if you buy the Sand and the Soda Ash, that will be around sort of 165. It kind of fluctuates how you uh, get them both. The Backup of Sand will be about 80 GP and the uh, Soda Ash will be uh, just under 100, but they fluctuate and they'll be around 170 GP. So you're making a bit of uh, crafting experience and you're saving a bit of money, but if you want to save time and just create them, or just buy the Molten Glass rather, um, you can opt to do it that way. They may notice that I don't actually have 66, 66 crafting, and the reason for that is because I'm making all of these um, unpowered orbs of the Molten Glass, which I'll get into in a bit. Um, now making the unpowered orbs, uh, this will get you 52.5 uh, XP per orb, so in total that will be 52.5k experience, and uh, that's why I don't have 66 crafting yet, because as you can see, I have loads of these, and I'll be making 5,000 of these, so by the time I've um, got that much molten glass and unpowered orbs created, I'll have 66 crafting, which will enable me to make the air battle stuff. Now, once you have your molten glass, the way in which you make the unpowered orb is you get your glass blowing pipe and uh, take out all as many molten glass as possible into your inventory. Uh, use the glass blowing pipe on the molten glass and just make 888. And um, you can get this uh, glass blowing pipe, you can get it from uh, ship charters, it, it costs a, a very small number of GP, so you don't need to worry about getting that. Uh, if you go to the ship charter um, just south of the bank in Caffeby, you can buy one from there, I believe. And uh, from there you can also buy buckets of sand and soda ash for a lot cheaper. You can buy them for like 5 or 10 GP each as, a, as opposed to like 180 for both of them if you're buying them from the Grand Exchange. Buying them from the shop will take more time, but it will save you a lot of money. So if you're prepared to spend more time doing this method, you can buy your buckets of sand and the soda ash from the charter crew members. Now once you have all of your unpowered orbs, you're going to want to head over to Edgeville. And this is the point where you're going to create your air orbs, and you're going to be charging them from an unpowered orb into an air orb. Now, assuming that you're making 1,000 air orbs, you're going to need 3 cosmic runes per orb, so obviously that would be a total of 3,000. Since I'm going to be making 5,000 air orbs, that's why I just bought 15,000 uh, cosmic runes. Now, if you take note of my inventory, um, there are two options you can take. The option I'm taking is the very, very slightly slower option, and this is the option to not use an amulet of glory. You can use an Amulet of Glory to teleport back to Edgeville once you've um, charged your air orbs, or an alternative, you can teleport to your home, which will have a glory in it. The reason why I don't like bringing glories into the wilderness, um, you, won't, you won't usually get PK'd for them unless you're Skulled, um, but you just have to keep charging them and buying them, and I just see that as kind of, it's, it's annoying having to keep charging your Amulet of Glories and going to the Grand Exchange. So what I do, I just stuck up, I need to buy some more uh, Lorens and Dust Runes actually. I recommend Dust Runes because um, as you can see your Teleport House will be an Air and a um, and a Earth Rune, but I lie, but since we already have a Staff of Air you won't really need a Dust Rune anyway. So ignore what I just said, you can just use an Earth Rune. So from Edgeville Bank, um, obviously if you're using an Amulet of Glory you'll obviously be wearing it here, so you don't need to have um, 
your space is taken up by runes, you can have two more orbs here, which means you'd have 81 cosmic runes per inventory. Just make sure you don't take all your cosmic runes with you, because if you die, you'll lose all your cosmic runes, which would be a shame. So we're going to run down the bank, and we will be in like level 7 wilderness or something, so just be careful. Um, PKers aren't too common here, because they'll just get like some orbs, which are not worth that much, and it'll just not really be worth their time. Uh, but just be wary that people can attack you uh, in this area. So you're going to be running through this gate, and once you open this gate you will be in the wilderness, so uh, just, uh, just remember to be careful. And uh, you will also have to run past some uh, some black demons, so um, if you're a slightly lower level you might want to be wary of that, but they shouldn't do too much to you. And um, people here won't usually attack you, they're usually more scared of uh, uh, you attacking them. Um, so just, I'm getting weakened by a Chaos Druid over here. Just open this gate here. Um, hopefully this guy won't attack me. Oh, I thought he was attacking me then. He's attacking a Chaos Druid. He's not interested. And uh, we're going to run past. This is the Black Demons here. And uh, ow. See, they hit, they do hit quite a lot. But by the time you've charged all your orbs, you would have healed up anyway. So what you do, you use your orb on the Obelisk of Air over here. And, uh, oh, no. I lie. I lie. You use your orb charge spell on it. And you can just create all. And uh, using this, this will get you, I believe, 76 XP per orb. So an inventory will get you roughly 2k experience um, per inventory. Now, you can probably fit in about 20, 15 to 20 inventories per hour, which will get you quite a lot of magic experience and it will enable you to do quite a lot of orbs as well. But I'll get into timings later on in the video. So obviously once you've charged all your air orbs, um, there's, you can't really tell we have charged them or not. They go very slightly light blue. Um, you may be able to notice the colour difference there. Once you've charged them all, obviously you can just use your Amulet of Glory to get back to Edgeville, or you can use your home teleport, and if you have a, a mounted Amulet of Glory like me in your house, you can use that to get back to Edgeville, which will be slightly slower, but um, it avoids you having to constantly be buying Amulet of Glories like I mentioned earlier. Once you've charged all your air orbs, you'll be wanting to buy a battle staff. Now what you can do is kind of buy some battle staffs uh, before you charge your air orbs so you can get straight into actually uh, crafting your air battle staffs. Uh, the best way to get them, I feel, obviously if you're an Iron Man you have to buy them from the shops. Now this guy here called Zaf, or Zaf, however you're going to say it, he sells battle staffs. Um, usually the stock can sometimes be bought out, but he will sell them for around, I do not have enough money on me, that's awkward. Uh, he sells them for around 7k each, 7 to 8k, which will be a lot cheaper than the exchange price. The grand exchange price will be about 8.2k, it's usually around there. Um, obviously buying them from the grand exchange will work out cheaper for you. But if you buy them from the shops, you can buy them from Zarf over here. You can also buy them from the Magic Guild in uh, Yanil. Uh, they also sell them, and they're both very close to a bank as well, so you don't need to worry about running to a bank often. And um, you might just have to hop worlds a few times to make sure that uh, you can quickly buy the stock out of him. Uh, obviously this world's been recently bought out by another player. So it's your decision whether you want to buy from a shop for a che cheaper price, as you can see. Um, Again, when the stock goes up, the price will go down, so try and aim for worlds that have a high stock if you can. Uh, what will help are the Varrock Achievement Diaries. The more of those you complete, the more stock uh, Zaf will have of his battle stars. So, I think if you complete the Elite one, you get 120 maximum stock of battle stars, which is really good. And uh, Hard will be 60, uh, Medium will be 30, and completing the Easy Tiles will get you a maximum of 15 stock uh, in the store. So that will be obviously be really cool. Um, if you can complete those uh, achievement diaries, that'll, that'll be a massive help. But of course, if you want to save time and just instantly buy them from the Grand Exchange, you can do that, and you will still make a profit. It will save you time, but your overall profit will be lower. Um, so once you've bought all 1,000 of your battle stars, um, you'll be able to attach them to your air orbs that you've just created. Obviously, I don't have the level at the moment because I have to charge and craft all my orbs and uh, make all my molten glass. So once I have 66 crafting, I can do that. But I've planned all the XP and uh, I planned that I had to buy 5,000 because once I make all my orbs, I will have 66 crafting. Um, so I kind of calculated it all. And um, it is good kind of researching all the things. Uh, it's definitely worth researching prices and kind of XP rates. They'll definitely help you out. Um, but obviously, I'll give you give them all you all in this video. So. Once you have your 1000 battle stars, which you can buy from the shops or from the Grand Exchange, you can then attach your air orbs to them, which you have just created. Um, so if I type air orb on here, here's, here are the ones that I crafted earlier uh, in the air obelisk. You can then attach them, obviously you'll be taking out 14 uh, staffs and 14 air orbs, 
and attaching the orbs to the staffs. Now for this, uh, you will get 137.5 experience per staff, which is a lot. That's definitely a lot of experience. And uh, you can do them really quickly as well, so that's where the bulk of your experience will be coming. Um, obviously in total you'll get 137.5k experience from that. So that's just really, really good, a good experience. And it's not that kind of thing that takes ages. Um, you can do it really quickly and you'll get a lot, lot of experience from that. Okay, so the way we actually make money of this method is that we can ALK the air battle staffs for 9.3k each. Also, that's a lot of money and that's how we make our profit. And obviously with the high alking you'll be making you'll be getting yourself uh, 65,000 magic experience uh, assuming you're making a thousand stuffs so also you get that will get you some extra experience which is nice and also you will need to buy nature runes for that or you can craft them if you obviously rune craft them uh, the, which requires 44 rune crafting you will make yourself a larger profit um, but if you want to buy the nature runes from the grand exchange it will cost you 250k uh, the price of a nature rune is roughly 250 gp now, this is the moment where I'm going to be going through a lot of numbers with you to work out our XP and our total uh, costs and profit. So let's first of all go through the XP. Now, assuming that you made the Molten Glass, uh, that's what I did, uh, you would have got 20k experience from that, because uh, they give you 20 experience each, and that will take you around uh, one hour to do that all. Now we can move on to actually uh, making, your, um, making all of your orbs. Now, that requires 46 crafting. And they will get that will gain you a uh, 52.5k experience because they give you 52.5 experience each. That will also take you around one hour. So in two hours, you can go from just having loads of buckets of sand and soda ash, and you can go straight to having all your unpowered orbs. Now charging your air orbs, um, that uh, will give you 76,000 uh, experience, uh, magic experience that is. Um, however, that takes around two hours, and uh, so that's kind of doubled your time. You'll be spending half your time in a moment uh, uh, charging all your air orbs. And uh, when you actually go to crafting your battle staffs, that is very, very quick. Um, we'll see if you have a good attention span. Um, that will take you around 45 minutes, um, or for some people, maybe uh, one hour. So it's very quick to craft all your battle staffs. And then finally, to out them all. Um, obviously, I forgot to mention the battle staffs, sorry. Uh, the battle staffs will get you 137,000 experience, which is obviously a lot. Um, obviously, 135. 137.5 experience each um, and a thousand of them so that's where most of your experience will come from and finally of course your high alking uh, you'll be alking them from the profit that requires 55 magic and uh, that will get you 65,000 uh, experience from that so over the total of time now the time roughly will take you six hours to do that all um, six hours being you had uh, a thousand buckets of sand and a thousand soda ash and at the end of the six hours you should have 1,000 air battle stars now, from that 6 hours, we got ourselves 141,000 magic experience and 210k crafting experience. Obviously, all together, that's 350k experience in 6 hours. That is pretty goddamn good. So, let's now look at the profit. Now, if you bought your battle staffs all from the Grand Exchange uh, for a price of around uh, 8.2 mil for uh, all 1,000 of them, uh, that would have got you a profit of 235k. Uh, if you bought your battle staffs from uh, from Zaf or from Zaf or uh, from any shop for that matter, um, you would have bought them for 7k each, uh, roughly 7k, which will get you a profit of around 1.3 to 1.4 mil. Obviously, the price of the shop will fluctuate slightly, but you will be making a profit of around 1.3 to 1.4 mil, which spread over six hours is a decent way to make money. Um, you've made money pretty well, and you've also gained yourself a lot of magic experience and a lot of crafting experience. So. I hope you guys enjoyed this guide and found it useful. If you did, leave it a like rating and subscribe for more, and I'll talk to you again soon.